tutorial in the Beaver Builder series covers how to design a home page with the Beaver Builder theme builder. So first a bit of background information. If you're making a uh, like a more of a simple page, you may just want to go to edit page and not invoke the page builder, the Beaver Builder. Um, even if you're using Beaver Builder, you may need still to click on edit page to work on SEO and other settings, add categories, things like that. Beaver Builder is, um, is intended for designing the page only. So let's, this is a home page for a website, so let's design a fancy home page. So I click on Beaver Builder, and that um, sets it up. Instead of being um, looking at the actual page, I'm now looking at um, uh, what you see is what you get, design mode. And you see as I hover, it's, um, it's showing me things, and these are things I can edit. This is a text module that kind of came from the text that was already there. And this is a row. And just like in, if you if you use Twitter bootstraps, this is a module and it holds text. This is, this is where you edit the column. If you had more than one column, say you want, you know, one column red, one column blue, that's where you could, that's how you could add colors to the columns if you had more than one. And this is where you edit the row, right? So you just kind of hover and you kind of see all these things in here. So, but that's so now when you want to add something, what you do is you click on the plus. So say you want to add, um, usually usually you want to add a photo, right? So let's just drag. I just grab that photo. I, I, I help. I'm holding it down with my mouse, and I'm placing it there. Now I have to go find a photo. So I'm going to select a photo. When I've had a few, I have a few already in my, in my. Um, Media Library, so I'm going to select the fish. And I don't want full size. I want to have the right size. Um, I don't have a lot of size choices, but I'm going to do large because it looks like the medium is too small. So now I just, now I have two columns, right? Um, this is one column and this is my other column. And I have one row, right? Um, so let me just get out of here for a second. Let's save that to make that go away. I go back to the plus. So these are the modules. There's all different kinds of modules. You get a photo gallery, which we'll cover later. Um, you can do all different things with it. Um, now, you can also add a row. You know how you have that look where you have two columns or three columns? You can actually drag a row in here. I'll put it up above this one. And then I can drag a module, like a photo, into that row. So now I'm, I just dragged a photo. I can select a photo. So I might as well select the birds. I'm just kind of throwing some things here to show you how it works. We'll, we'll probably have to redesign. Okay, now, and I can drag text on this one, and maybe I, maybe I only want two columns, so I can just get rid of one. I can also drag the columns, right? So make the columns bigger and smaller. I usually probably put things in either, you know, 50% or, you know, 60, 30, you know, 66 to 33%, something like that. So you have like a set, more organized look. Okay, so now, so that's modules, rows, that's where you kind of set up where you have have more than one you know column. Now, um, templates. Now this is what, when you're studying a home page on Beaver Builder, this is what you may want to do, is you may want to start with a template. And this can help you make a more um, thoughtful home page because it has like layout things. Um, let's see, here's a, here's a cute one I use a lot. The little picture of little girl is awfully cute. Um, you kind of can picture that being a picture of, of a pet or a child holding a pet, that'd be a very cute picture there. Maybe some text, maybe a button that says choose a pet. Um, then there's looks like the quote right there. So anyway, you can, you can kind of mess, play, with, play with these. There's lots of different choices, but this is a nice one. So let's choose this, um, this. And so I'm going to actually append it. If I replace it, I erase everything I have. I don't quite want to do that. I'm, I'm going to append it. So what I've done is I put this, this, this is what I really want for my home page and I appended it at the bottom of the page because um, I can't insert it at the top. So I'm gonna delete this row because I don't really need it. And I'm going to take this row. Now let's talk about what these four things are. This is moving, so I can use this to move this. I can, I can actually drag it and move it over on this side. of. The, I can move it on top of the fish into the same column, or I can take this module and move it next to the fish. And then maybe I would delete this one so it would match, right? So um, 
But what I want to do is I'll get rid of, get rid of the fish too. I don't want to, I want to save this text. I think I'm going to want this text. So I'm going to take this one, this first one here, I'm going to drag this module kind of towards the bottom of the page. So I still have it available for me to, to grab from, um, but yet now I'm going to have this. I'm going to delete this row now. So now I have a, it's a nice website. It looks nice already, but obviously I need to change things. This is my, um, this is my font that I picked out. Um, this is, the, this is, this is the, the, the regular text font that I picked out. The picture came from the theme. And here's a nice quote section. And then I like this because I could see this being th pictures of three different pets, right? So while I'm, while I'm thinking about that, I might have four different pets, right? So this is how we move something. This is how we edit something. We're coming back to that. This is how we duplicate something. This is how we access the column rather than the row. That's a little more complicated. And this is how I delete something. But what I wanted, I want four of these, right? Because I'm gonna, I have lots of pets to show. And I think I can get away with four. So I'm going to click duplicate. And it stuck one of these columns underneath here. But now I'm going to drag it over here. And it automatically resizes so it fits as four. So let's go back to the top here. So um, this image here is not, this is a module. That's a module. That's, this is a spacer. It's an, empty, it's an empty column so that it keeps the text on this side and, and not on top of the little girl. It keeps it on the blurry section. So now if you have some Photoshop skills, Something you could do would be to make an image that has like a blurry side so you can put the text on the opposite side. So, but let's just see what we can't do with the pictures that we have. So, um, now I clicked on the settings. I'm, I'm working on the row, not on the module, the overall row. And so I'm, when you go to the row, there's a lot of things here and there's just so much to know about. You just kind of have to click around and learn it. So this is my text color. That's the white text that came from this, this, this um, page I picked out. Um, and now my background photo is a photo, right? I could also put in um, a parallax. That's pretty cool. i am try, try playing with that. Um, I could put a gradient back there. But obviously, on a pet store website, I need a picture of pets. So I'm going to select a photo. And I think this fish is an awfully beautiful picture. It would be better if I could add a picture that had some place I could place text. Now let's go with fish. Okay, so now I have my fish on here. And, you know, I, it's one of my design rules is that you don't want to put text on top of, of, top of the main subject. Um, but we can maybe work with that. Um, we also can work on positioning the fish a little bit better. So let's try, instead of being center, let's try center. Um, okay, remember that, that, that it's an attribute called background position. You can decide where you want this to be. Um, in the page. So I can um, say I want to, I can do a custom position if I want, but I want to try, um, I'm going to try top and um, top left, left, <laughs> left top. Okay. So now you see, now I can actually put my text at the top here. So now I have like a plan, right? I got some, 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 you know, space here for which I can um, adjust this. So now I can take, um, I'm going to save this for now. But now I kind of can adjust um, and figure out, and still I don't like how this is looking, but I can still make adjustments. So, um, but, and also I, I deleted this column. This, so now I'm, I'm kind of put my text here, but I also want more height. So it's, I'm going to get rid of the button because I don't need that. And I'm going to get rid of this too, so I have less to work. But you notice as I'm deleting it, because it's a background image, it's showing less and less. So now I need to adjust that. So I'm going back to my row and I'm going to advanced. And you see how it has bottom 130? I'm going to change that to 230. Oh, I want an even bigger number, um, 300. And now I'm showing a lot more of the fish. I still like to show even more fish. Yep, I think I might put a bigger number in there. Oh, I think I might take the, yeah, I'm going to put a, even, I'm going to put 400 in there, right? So now I'm showing more of the fish, right? Okay, so that's adjusting the row. Now I'm going to adjust this text module. This will look better. Obviously, I need to change what it says. So I'm, in most of these modules, you have a general, and then you have a style, and you have advanced. So the general is the text. I'm going to say, um, pets for everyone. It's an H1. I always want every page I want H1, so I want to leave it in H1. So now I'm going to um, style it, and I'm going to use. Um, Go into fonts 
and I'm going to center that font. So now it's looking a little bit better, right? It still could use some TLC, but let's let's move on, okay? Um, now um, on this next one, I think I might get rid of this row because I don't want to work this hard. Okay, so the next thing I might do is I'm going, this is kind of a custom um, thing, um, but first of all, I think with four, I need more space. And see it, I, I'm not really in a straight line from here, so I think it can give it more space. So I am going to um, make this row a little wider. I'm going to try um, 1,200. And I'm trying to get it so that there's kind of a straight line from this to this. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to try 1,250, though. Um, 1,250. And now I have room for... I think I have room for three, but I still think ah, it's a little crowded. So I'm gonna I'm gonna going to delete one of these. And go back to three, All right? I have to delete first. I deleted the module. Now I'm deleting the column. Now I have three. I think this is gonna be a, a better look for me. Save. Now what I need to do is I go onto this kind of custom um, theme, and I can actually click on the little wrench, and I can start changing the pictures, right? So here's the general. Um, this, this here's it says we can help when it did um, maybe I'm going to change it to dogs cat maybe I want dogs cats and other or something like that right so um, I'll do this one to be cats and the third one can be every pet maybe all right but now, obviously, I need to get in here a, the right image. So and that's why I'm kind of working working my way through this here. I'm um, just kind of clicking around. It's just very intuitive. Now, the style, um, I could put a background color on, but I don't want to do that. Um, I could center it. I'm not sure I need to change the style. But here's where I put in the image. So now I'm going to remove the flowers. And I'm going to go back to my photo gallery. And I'm going to, um, oh, now I need a dog, though. So I'm going to go to my, here's a bulldog. That's not a bulldog, it's misnamed, it's a Frenchie. That's the name from Pixabay. So I'm going to put that little bulldog in there, all right? Oh, and coincidentally, it's the right size. Sometimes it's not, and then you have to adjust it. Now I need a picture of a cat for this one. So I'm going to go back out to my image, remove the energy photo, and select, um, See if I have a cat in here. Here's a cat. Looks like the aspect ratio is a little off, and so <coughs> I'll show you what this problem what problem that creates, right? Let's try this one because then I'll show you the problem that it creates. <coughs> Select photo. Ah, uh, you see what happened? Um, this would look a lot better if they are all three the same size, right? So you still need to do that image prep work to have to make this work. And as long as they're the same aspect ratio, it'll all come together. <coughs> uh, excuse me. And because this one might be, but this one would work really well square, I maybe crop this, but you kind of have to do that work to prepare your images, right? So that's enough on that. I think you get the idea from that. Okay, here's our text. So now we can um, also, let's make this text. We can also like um, add in some images to the side of this text here. So one thing that's a good thing to add here because it's it visually it, it needs like a separator. So instead of going into here, I'm going to go um, to back to modules. I'm going to drag a separator in, and this is a nice this is a nice design trick. It just makes life easier to put a separator in between two two things that are <coughs> separate. It's a nice clean thing. You can actually design the design the separator by putting you know different heights, different widths. Uh, but we'll just leave it with the default for now, okay? And then um, maybe I want to add images over here, but I think that's enough for this video. This video is already quite long, and now you get the idea about how you would use the, um, the Beaver Builder page builder to build your homepage.